Hello, my name is Joachim Strandberg and in this video I'll demonstrate how to print text and the values of variables out to the command prompt using the Ada programming language. All software used in this demonstration can be downloaded here at the libre.adacore.com website. The compiler used is the GNAT GPL version and how to download and install it is shown in the video here. I've already done this and so I'm ready to start coding. To create an Hello World application in the Ada programming language we start the GPS. GPS is short for GNAT Programming Studio and is an excellent application for doing Ada software development. Choose Create New Project from Template. The Simple Project template comes with the installation of the GPS. When using a template, one must specify where to store the project files. In this example, we're going to put it under the Ada Projects slash Hello World directory. The default values are good. This is how the project looks in the GPS. We see the declaration of the main procedure in the main.adb file. These are the files created by the template. Let's go on with our Hello World application. It builds just fine. The executable file main has been created. We can execute it using the command line. We can also execute it through the GPS. We can change the name of the executable that has been generated. First delete all previously compiler generated files. Then edit project properties and change the name to whatever we like. It is instructive com to compare the Hello World application in Ada with the Hello World application in C++. The simple C++ project template does not ship with the GPS, but it's something that I've created for this demonstration. The support for the ADA programming language in the GPS is much more better than the support for the C++ programming language, but it is possible to do it. This application builds just fine and executes nicely. Let's compare these two applications. With statements in ADA correspond to include statements in C++, notice that the end of the with statements are marked with a semicolon whereas include statements are not. This is because include statements are interpreted by the C++ preprocessor and not by the C++ compiler. In the ADA standard there is no preprocessor and so all ADA statements end with a semicolon, no exceptions. There are very good reasons why ADA does not have a preprocessor, in particular a macro preprocessor. History has shown that macros can be misused to create code that is unreadable and hard to understand. Macros are, for example, forbidden in C Sharp and Java. That macros have been forbidden in Ada has been a core requirement since 1978. For further information, please see the Steelman requirements. Also notice that left curly brackets in C++ correspond to the keyword begin in Ada and that right curly brackets in C++ correspond to the keyword end in Ada. Pay also attention to that the end keyword is followed by the identifier of what it is ending. In this case it is the main procedure. If the identifier of what you're ending does not correspond to the identifier of what was begun, then the compiler will generate compiler errors. Allow me to demonstrate. So we're gonna move two letters there, save, then we're gonna compile end main expected. It is suitable to mention here that the Ada programming language does not contain curly brackets nor other uncommon symbols in the English language. One of the guiding ideas of Ada is that it should look as much as possible like ordinary English prose since that is what English speaking people are used to read in everyday newspapers and the like. A symbol on the other hand is much more faster to write than a word. Readability is prioritized over writability in the design of the Ada programming language. 
In general, I would say that the name of a package corresponds in a simple way to the name of the file in which it is defined. For example, let's say we create a package called messages to user, where we put procedures that write messages to the user using the command line. Let's put our command to print hello world to the command line in this package. We're not going to talk about pragmas here. Compile the file. If there is any errors, there are no errors. That means we can generate body. This is actually a great tip when creating a package for the first time. Start off with a specification file and then when you're happy with it, generate the body and continue from there. This compiles just fine and executes very nicely too. Notice that the package messages to user consists of two files, a specification file that ends with .ads and a body file that ends with .adb. Packages in ADA make a clear distinction between contract and implementation. The specification file contains the contract of what the package supplies, in this case only a procedure print hello world. The body file contains uh, the implementation of the print hello world procedure. Let's go back to the connection between file name and package name. I'm not going to go into the details here but simply point out that the file name and package names are very similar. In this case the file name is simply the package name in lowercase followed by, by either .ads or .adb. Also to pay attention to what happens if the package name and file name does not match. Like for example remove the R's here and then we compile Warning, file name does not match, unit name should be messages to use .ads. It means the compiler wants us to remove the R here from the file name. Anyways, uh, we're going to revert those changes here. Also, I would like to point out that the file name is not allowed to contain more than one package. It means that it's not possible to put, for example, two packages into one file. This convention of putting at most one package in one file is not part of the ADA standard, but it's the convention used by the Ignat compiler. Now let's compare this with the C++ case. There is no indication on line 5 that the stream object std colon colon cout is defined in the iostream.h header file. Let's have a look at the put line procedure in the ada.txtile package. To view the declaration of this procedure, press down control followed by left click on the button. Here we see the contents of the specification file of the ada.txtile package. Please pay attention to that the ada.txtile package name does not exactly correspond to the file name. This means that it is possible to give shorter file names than package names in the ada programming language. But this is beyond the scope of this Hello World tutorial. Thank you for watching.